Hello guys, so today Prismata early access steam is finally happening and I wanted to make a really quick video just kind of explaining explaining the base premise of the game for anyone that might be interesting. I won't be trying to take it super fast like in the 60 second video but I'm not gonna take it slow either and make this like a long half hour video or anything. I'm gonna explain basically what the game is I'm gonna explain kind of how you play so if it looks interesting you can find more resources i'll put some links in the description or you can just check out you know one of the streams or you know just go to the steam page which will also be in the description and look at the game yourself it is one of the favorite my, my favorite games i've ever played it is the best strategy game i've ever played and i would definitely recommend you check it out but let's actually just head into a game and i'll kind of show you what it's all about so this is a 1v1 you know competitive style turn-based strategy game right there's no map there's no fog of war there's no rng and there's live coach talking in chat let me just mute chat um and it's a really really good game there's perfect information there's no rng but the game stays fresh every single game it's not like chess where there's openings you have to memorize or you know certain lines that you're gonna be playing every single game over and over and over the game varies it up every single match you play so let's actually you know look at the game and what we can do in it so one thing you'll notice is that there's essentially what we call sets and there's two sets of units here um and one of these sets the one that's bigger here is essentially available to you every single game that you play uh, every single match you will see this units it's called the base set and essentially it's your basic units you might be buying pretty much over half of them every game you play um the other set of units is chosen from like a random pool of about a hundred and since it creates you know eight or nine or ten or eleven um depending on how you play you can even play only five additional units uh, i wouldn't recommend it but anyways it creates this different feeling every single game because you're not gonna play with the same eight, eight units back to back pretty much ever i've played you know 10,000 games of this game 10,000 matches of this game and i i have to say every match still feels new so th this is where you know the different type of game you know the the differentiator between this and chess comes in for example oh why don't you just play chess well because chess y you have the same game right it kind of you have the same strategy every game if you just choose to play your own strategy uh that doesn't work here you just kind of have to go off the book and learn and look at the set and kind of figure out a new strategy every single time okay how does the game actually play well if you've got any experience with starcraft or any rts for that matter it plays very similar to those you essentially have you know your your base if you would say and then you you have workers in this situation it's drones and drones produce resources called gold and you know you click them you get seven gold and then you can notice you know hey units cost stuff to buy and essentially you build up your your workers your your base up a bit more you know you buy more economy you buy more drones that produce gold after you have some additional workers drones here you can buy other technology units like glassforge conduit animus etc they each produce their own you know resources and then once you've got you know your gold production once you've got your uh replicas production or bohemian production blue red whatever then after that point you start kind of attack uh you kind of start buying attackers the goal of the game being to destroy all of your opponent's units so you're gonna need attack to do that and we can look at the base set tars here it's just a very basic attacker here you know 
takes two turns to build but gives you one attack every single turn so the way this game works differently to something like a card game where you essentially place units on board and then they die and they attack each other and they're kind of like you know you trade it's not like that all of the attack you buy if it's permanent just gets put into this one essentially pool pile of damage and all of that damage goes into your opponent and they have to defend it through well in their defending phase with things like engineers here for example or something like a wall which you can see as a blocker and has prompt meaning you know it can block as soon as you purchase it um so i'm just gonna keep playing a bit of this game you know just gonna kind of play some turns really fast not gonna explain much but you do this you play for a while you see you know you react to what your opponent is doing so here we'll be buying a rhino for example our opponent has one damage right this means that we will be taking one damage and then to defend that we'll be using a bigger unit to absorb attack it's a mechanic in the game and it enables this flexibility of strategy okay we don't want to defend for too much but we still want to defend efficiently and the game really is about you know you know you look at the set and you're like okay i want to go for this strategy here i could have went for this big blue strategy right look at that cost it's massive maybe this massive green cost or you can actually just go with something really rushy and you just kind of figure out what works and what doesn't as you play but that's that is honestly the base premise of the game that's as simple as it is past this point is just experience and trying new strategies so as much as the game looks complex it's actually very simple the base rules super simple and yeah you, you try and attack your opponent tries to defend they try and attack you try and defend every single turn both at the same time that's it and um as I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's easily my favorite strategy game of all time. So do check it out. Steam Early Access today. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys actually just kind of enjoyed this quick little video, and I hope it gave you, gave you some insight into what Prismata is all about. Um, maybe help you, you know, just kind of understand it at a very base level. And uh, hope you guys check it out.